guys, it's Ash here, and today I'm going to show you how to make three different bottle charms. Before we get started, this video is a collab with Geeky McFangirl. She has made a DIY video showing you how to make Tom Riddle's diary. I will link the video in the subscription. Okay, let's get started. What you're going to need for these potions are um, three different types of miniature bottles, clear glue, food coloring, a small paintbrush, Mod Podge, water, a cotton ball, toothpicks, and two small measuring cups, or one, you can clean it out if you wish. And then the last thing you're gonna need is some glitter or small little decorations to go in the bottle. So what you're gonna need to do for your love potion is fill up the heart bottle with clear glue. Be a bit careful, cause uh, I was being a bit careful because the bottle, the top of the bottle was pretty small, so it was pretty hard to get the clear glue in. But just be patient and have a lot of paper towels at hand and you should be able to put it all in. And then using a small measuring cup, put some, hot, uh, put some clear glue in the small measuring cup and then mix some red dye, red food coloring, with, it, with the clear glue. Using a clean toothpick, get some red glue and mix it in the heart bottle, very slowly and very carefully. Just use only small measurements. And then once you get the heart to turn the pink color you like, my camera decided to mess up a little bit and make it look yellow, but I promise you it is pink. I don't know why it did that, but I don't know. But yeah, once you get it to the pink color you like, you grab the cork and paint some Mod Podge on the bottom end and sides of it and stick it in the bottle and then paint Mod Podge around the top of the cork. This helps seal the bottle so the glue won't dry out. If you had trouble with filling up the heart bottle, I apologize. The luck potion was 10 times harder. I struggled a lot filling it up, but eventually I got patient enough and I slowly filled it in using a toothpick. But I got it done and it ended up really awesome. But yeah, you fill carefully fill up the bottle with clear glue and then you're gonna mix in yellow food coloring. And then you just paint in the top part of the charm and glue it together to seal it up. And that's it for that one. And then for the polyjuice potion, which ended up being my favorite one out of all of it, uh, you get a cotton ball and you pull it out. So you pull out the cotton and make it look like a big fluffy, fluffy cloud. And then you put, uh, once you've pulled the cotton, uh, put it all in a small cup and put food coloring and water into the cup. I put two drops of yellow and three drops of green to kind of get it that limeish green color. And then I mixed in my little decorated beads into the water and you just pretty much mix it all up. Once you think you've got the color pretty well in the cotton ball and mixed up the glitter in as really well as well, as well, pull out the cotton ball and squish a lot of the water out because you're about to make another big mess. So you pull out, uh, pull the carton, cotton ball apart in small portions and slowly, carefully sh uh, sh shove the cotton ball into the bottle. Uh, I used a toothpick to help me with this. And then pretty much you slowly push in the cotton balls and into the bottle and uh, add some water when you think it's needed. Then as well, to seal the cork off, uh, I put in Maj Podge on the bottom of the cork and the bottom sides, and I put the cork in the bottle and painted the top of the seal of the bottle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this is a collab video with Geeky McFangirl. She is making a Tom Riddle's diary, and it's, it ended up really cool, so you guys should totally go check it out. And yeah, 
thank you guys for watching. If you want to follow me more on my adventure, like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye.